Thanks, Patrick. As you mentioned, Country USA is just two days away, and the setup for the popular music festival that attracts more than 150,000 a year is nearly complete. But last year, the concert ran into some severe weather problems, and with less, a less than desirable forecast, could the same thing happen this year? Fox 11's Kristen Crowley has more. One, two, it's no easy task setting up the grounds for a five-day festival. Throw some rainy weather on top of it, and it gets even more complicated. It makes things a little heavier. Well, it's slowing us down a little bit, getting us a little bit wet. Country USA promoter Dan Liebhauser says people are pouring their heart and soul into this, and that's the only kind of pouring he wants near the event. Myself and our managers have been, uh, let's just say we have calluses on our knees from praying for no rain this year. But no matter how much they hope and pray, the weather is just one thing they can't control. That's something they found out last year when they had to evacuate the campgrounds after heavy rains caused flash flooding. Well, last year was pretty wild. I mean, we get the, the, near near the end, we had tents falling and collapsing and pipes bending and that type of stuff. And then if you were on the way out, you could look at the motorhomes and stuff that were stuck in the mud. And with a steady rain during setup and scattered thunderstorms forecasted for opening day on Tuesday, you'd think they'd be nervous. History may repeat itself. There's always that fear that it could, but we always look for the brighter moment. And Liebhauser says so far, this isn't anywhere near as wet as it was last year. Yeah, a little rain doesn't hurt anything. It's an outdoor festival. Despite the sprinkles and the mud, Country USA is right on schedule. And rain or shine, the show will go on. In Oshkosh, Kristen Crowley, Fox 11 News. This year's headliners include Rascal Flatts and Lady Antebellum. The entire musical budget for the event runs roughly $2.4 million, the most expensive lineup Country USA has ever had.